Goa Shipyard Limited has signed a contract with the Indian Navy for building a damage control simulator which will be based at Port Blair, and the shipyard will soon start the process to build the state-of-the-art simulator. Goa Shipyard has built six simulators of various types for the Indian Armed Forces, and has also recently exported one simulator to a neighboring country. The three-deck structure can simulate ship movements, compartment flooding, failure of electrical power and machinery, and 24 naval personnel can be trained at a time in the damage control simulator, that simulates a realistic but controlled environment for training, as in the real-life operational service the crew needs to respond with efficiency expertise and confidence gained from training in similar situations. While carrying out a security review of the eastern and central sectors during his two-day visit, the Indian Army chief has asked his top commanders to stay prepared for any eventuality. The vice chief of the Indian Air Force has also visited forward air bases in the Ladakh sector of Western Air Command, and he also interacted with the air warriors of the combat units that are currently operating at these locations, and he also undertook a sortie on the indigenous light combat helicopter two of which have been deployed after the request of the Indian Air Force, and the first contract for 15 limited series helicopters is also expected by the end of 2020. The Indian Navy has also increased deployment of ships and submarines by 25% in the Indian Ocean region. The Indian Army is conducting a major study headed by a senior lieutenant general, on a number of advanced technologies including swarm UAVs, big data analytics, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, exoskeleton systems, laser-based systems, loiter munitions and robotics. The study is crucial as China is already bolstering its conventional combat capabilities by conducting cutting-edge research and development on non-kinetic systems. The maintenance teams of foreign armies have begun to embrace the use of big data analytics to establish predictive maintenance programs, which reduces the downtime and maintenance costs. China's commissioning of the PCL-181 lightweight truck-based howitzers was directly in response to India's deployment of M777 ultralight howitzers, and top experts have said that the lightweight truck-based howitzers gives the advantage of mobility to the Chinese side. The highly digitalized system results in a shorter preparation time, and also allows automatic calibration and half-automatic reload. Even though India has the M777 howitzers, India still needs to nullify the effects of these self-propelled Chinese systems. The Kalyani Group has already developed the Mark 155mm 39 caliber truck-mounted ultralight howitzer which has a range of 30 km, but the use of 52 caliber barrel will increase its range to 50 km, which is higher than the 45 km range of Chinese PCL-181 system. During a teleconference between India's External Affairs Minister and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, both India and the United States have discussed the possibility of strengthening the Quad Group, by including a foreign minister's meeting in the near future. The two ministers also reviewed bilateral cooperation, while Mike Pompeo has said that the United States looks forward to quadrilateral consultations and the U.S.-India 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue later this year. The Chinese Army had recently tested the newly developed BA-21 helicopter launched anti-tank guided system from the Z-10 helicopter, and the new details indicate that each of the launchers under the stub wings can carry two missiles, and it was seen along with a tactical airborne reconnaissance pod. The BA-21 is believed to have a range of about 18 kilometers, and is fitted with a semi-active laser seeker. Oh, my God.